Welcome to the fourth video in the Ape video tutorial series. In the last video, we did highlighting of and selection of restriction enzyme sites. These sites, we can remove the highlighting by doing clear highlighting within the enzymes menu or shift click within this toolbar button here. That will remove all of the highlighting from that sequence file. You can also do other things with restriction enzymes. For example, you can do restriction digests. So if you select EcoR1 and Hindi 3, you can do a digest as a double digest and show a virtual gel of what it would look like to digest this restriction, this sequence with those two restriction enzymes. You see virtual bands on this agarose gel. And if you put your mouse over the band, you can see the size and base pairs. And you can also see red highlighting that shows you the um, size, the left restriction sites, the position of that restriction sites, the right restriction site, the position of that, and the mass percent of that band as a percent of the total mass of the digest. If you click on the band or on the uh, band text, it will highlight that band within the sequence. You can also um, find that band by um, putting your mouse over this small map that shows the features of the sequence as well as the position of each of the restriction enzyme sites. You can, rather than doing a double digest, you can do a digest with all, which will digest individually with EcoR1 or with Hindi3 separately. If you put your mouse now over either of these bands, it will change the text to the left side to a list of um, restriction bands for that digest and will update as you highlight different bands. If you click in this show in lane information box, you can get a list of um, all of the lanes, the latter lane here, lane two, which is an EcoR one digest and lane three which is a hindi three digest if you click and drag on any one of these lanes you can um, reorder the um, position within the uh, of the digests within the gel if you have multiple restriction digests open at once For example, if I had an EcoR1 digest in one window and a Hindi3 digest in another window, you can um, drag one lane from one digest window to a different digest window. And it will copy it from this window to this window. If you'd like to set up more complex gels all at once, rather than doing an individual digest, you can use the digestion dialog. This allows you to set up multiple lanes all at once, rather than moving them around from one window to another. In this, digest, in this dialog, each of the lanes of the new digest is represented by a row, and the possible restriction enzymes are columns. So in each lane, you can choose either to have nothing. You can choose to have a ladder from your um, predefined ladder set. Those can be edited with a, um, from, the edit, from the enzymes menu under the um, ladder editing dialog. Or you can choose to digest one of the presently open windows. So in this case, we'll do the first lane as a ladder. The second lane will be an EcoR1 digest, 
of our plasmid. You can add additional lanes with the plus button here, and it will uh, make a copy of the lane that you just um, were in. You can change from digesting with eco R1 to Hindi 3. You can also set up um, potentially um, partial digests. If you'd like to see um, what a partial digestion would look like, you can change the percentages from 100% digestion to 90 or any, um, any value of digestion. You can select all in the column or deselect all in the column from here. You can add additional enzyme um, columns with this button. So if you would like to make a BAMH1 digest, you can do it like this. There's a convenience feature for um, digesting a new particular DNA with each of the enzymes, and it will set up a from all of the enzymes that you have at the um, have a column for, it will set up an individual digest for each of those. You can do um, double digests or triple digests in any particular lane as well. Then when you're satisfied with the lane um, information as you've set it up, click OK to get a full um, digest pattern of each of those. And again, you can highlight to find the size of any of these bands. You can um, reorder the bands. You can get a list of all of the um, information. You can copy that text and paste it into um, your notebook, your electronic notebook. Or you can um, You can copy the, um, you can save the um, file as a, um, encapsulated postscript, an SVG, a PDF, or a PowerPoint slide, and um, get the information in a graphical format. That's all for this video of the eight tutorial video series.